So here we have it, the basic engine of the uh, Stuart number no. 4. Um, sort of finished really, and there's some alterations I'm going to make to it uh, that we'll, um, I'll tell you about. But that's the, um, that's it finished. Uh, before I forget, I'd like to thank the members of uh, modelengineer.co.uk once again for their uh, invaluable help in assisting me in the advice with the uh, construction of this. Right, what have I got to do? Uh, I've got to put on some um, some banding around here, which um, so you put here this sort of dummy banding uh, around that area there, around the uh, the cylinder which have lagged um, in the. Uh, I think it's a like a mahogany. I don't know what it is. It was some some strip strip wood I had. It's definitely a hardwood anyway. So that's that. Um, where I did alter it away from the drawing is I put um, made a longer crankshaft, which I'll tell you about in a second why I've done that, and I also uh, the webs I made um, so that they had counter counterweights on them, counterbalanced, which uh, seems to work quite well when I, uh, I run it at a higher speed, which I'll show you. But, um, so I can't uh, claim any uh, credit for them uh, being the right weight. <laughs> it was just pure luck. <laughs> so, well, that's that. Anyway, uh, this is the original crankshaft. Oh, uh, it. Here we go. This is the casting that came with it to make the crankshaft originally. As I said, I wanted to make it longer. So, and the reason being, uh, I want to put on um, an extra bearing there, outboard bearing there. And I'm going to put a, a flywheel or a smaller flywheel with some grooves in for driving something, uh, or perhaps a disc wheel, something of that sort of type there, and then an extra bearing outboard of that to uh, to help uh, eliminate any uh, whip in the crankshaft. But uh, yeah, that, that's worked out quite well. So probably the best thing to do is uh, is switch it on and see if it full start. There we go. Uh, it's all because it's been run in. It's all uh, swimming with oil a bit at the moment. So uh, what that is there on the right-hand side of the uh, the pressure gauge is the um, it's an oil oil dis uh, dispenser. It's designed for air tools. So there's air going through the cylinder for the running in period, which should run on uh, low pressure. It does gurgle a bit because it's got not quite a uh, enough pressure to blow it out when it's uh, it's just on a couple of pounds of. Uh, pressure. Anyway, I'll just show you the business end. If there's an annoying buzzing sound arrives in a second, it's because the compressor's kicking up. So uh, it's not my indigestion, promise you. Turn the pressure up a bit now. That's still about 20 psi. I'll probably take it a bit higher. Don't have to run it for too long as it is actually running in. If you look um, there at the colour of the oil. You can hear me above the compressor kicking in. It's, um, that's up to 30 psi. And as you can see, the engine's not, even though it's running at quite a handsome speed, it's not dancing around or bouncing around at all. So that um, the counterweights seem to have. Uh, that seems to work quite well. That's 
just wait for the compressor to uh, do its stuff. The, uh, from the other test run the other day, the, um, the glands are, um, and the gaskets are, are installed. Uh, so you can see the oil is a bit, uh, a bit dirty. And the piston rings, uh, which are cast iron, are also installed. So they'll be, um, they'll be bedding in. So say I've got, let's uh, say it's swimming in oil at the moment. So I'll we'll join the running in process. I've got a slight weeping leak from there. I'm going to turn the pressure up a bit, but that's uh, that's an easy fix. That one. so, so we'll have slow can get it. It's on the point of stalling, I think there. Might get away with that after it's run in. Anyway, that's it. Um, so the basic engine's finished, apart from the additional uh, outrigger bearings and uh, an extra wheel. I'm going to put on that and then mount it on a nice base, I suppose. Cheers and beers. Thanks again, everyone at uh, Model Engineer. Bye.